What's up Markerheads, it's Karen and today I'm bringing you a unicorn ATC. Uh, I was going to do a dragon, someone suggested that I do a dragon and I was like, oh I love that idea and I had one sketched out and I lost the sketch so I had this unicorn one sketched as well. So I decided to do the unicorn and hopefully we'll find the dragon card and I'll be able to do that one next week. But I had a lot of fun doing this one and I hope that you guys like it as well. And I just want to say that I've been having a lot of fun doing these Trading Card Tuesdays and I really appreciate that you guys are getting into it and participating out there on Instagram. Uh, if you want to participate, you um, just need to tag your illustration uh, Trading Card Tuesday <laughs> and at Art by Karen e. Haley and I will collect and share all of the ones that you guys have been posting throughout the week and I will feature them in my videos on YouTube. Um, if I missed you guys, don't worry, I will try my best to get you guys in next week. It's been kind of a weird day, me editing, uh, my son's been having some issues and I've been having to deal a lot with him, so editing has not been going very smoothly, um, but I was able to get it done, so thankfully uh, I am able to get this video out to you guys. Now that we've seen all the really awesome cards that you guys have done throughout the week, uh, it's time to do the shout out. So this shout out was for um, somebody that is a viewer of mine and they requested that I shout out their cousin's channel. Their cousin's channel is URA Studios, so if you guys like zombie or action type of videos, this is a really cool channel and it's pretty new and they share a lot of really neat behind the scenes stuff. Uh, they're, they're starting a new project and it's called The Outbreak and they wanted me to mention that. Typically I don't shout out stuff that's not an art channel. Um, I will make an exception, exception though because I, you know, this viewer is somebody who's been watching me for a really long time and I really, really appreciate their support. So thank you so much and uh, if you guys want to check out this channel, I'd really appreciate it. It'd be really cool. They have about 50 subscribers right now, so they're a pretty new, pretty undiscovered channel. So if you guys are interested in uh, maybe supporting a newer YouTube channel, go ahead and check them out. <laughs> Moving on to my thoughts about this unicorn card, I wanted to say that I had a lot of fun coming up with an idea for this and originally I wanted to do a unicorn that was more of a white color with just a little bit of purple shading, but I recently painted my nails a really cute like manicure <laughs> type of thing and I wanted to, I was really inspired by the little flowers that I painted on my my nails so I decided that I wanted to make a unicorn kind of inspired by that I don't know it was a lot of fun and uh, I really like the way that it turned out I do kind of think that it reminds me of Pinkie Pie because I gave her dark pink uh, mane and lighter pink uh, fur but I don't know it's not supposed to be any particular pony or unicorn or anything. I just kind of came up with it. It was kind of inspired by spring and flowers. And I'm really happy with it. So I hope that you guys like it as well. I really enjoyed doing the soft blending on this one. Especially around the neck and on her ears and on her horn. And I think that in the end it's a really nice looking picture and I kind of want to do a large scale version of this someday, maybe with a little more detail in the background, but I am really happy with this and um, I hope that you guys like it too. I will say that I did have some struggles uh, with shading because I wanted her to be a very soft and pale color, but at the same time I wanted her to have shading, so I feel like the 
look of the unicorn is kind of not as vibrant as I wanted. I felt like I had to have the shading in there and looking at it now I really kind of wish I hadn't shaded it as much as I had but I still really like the picture and I hope that you guys like it too. In any case that brings me to my question of the day. What I want to ask is what do you guys do when you feel like you made an artistic choice that you kind of wish you hadn't done? Do you go with the Bob Ross route and just decide it was a happy accident? Or do you try to reverse it? Or maybe do you resign yourself to leaving it in and doing it differently next time? I know for me, I am okay with the way it looks, but I definitely will try to do it differently next time. Um, I probably could reverse what I did with the shading, but I don't think that I um, really want to risk it because I am really happy overall with how the piece looks. And I feel like it's not ruining the artwork, so I don't feel like it's worth ruining the artwork if I try to fix it. <laughs> but let me know what you guys do. What do you guys um, feel is the most appropriate choice? Or do you do a mixture of whichever is, I guess, the right choice for the specific artwork? Let me let me know what you guys do because I'm, I am really curious. It's always really fun to see you guys answering questions. And I know that I don't have time to respond to every single question or response to my questions, but I always really appreciate it and I always read them. There's, they make me so happy. It's my highlight of my YouTube day. <laughs> so anyway, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not, please give me a subscribe or a like. Uh, I really appreciate all the shares that you guys have been giving out. I that's, That makes me so happy and it really helps to um, share my channel with people and so I really like I really like that you guys do that because it's part of why they why I do shoutouts is because I want to give that back to you guys. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.